So much of the uh, Christian faith is given to us through the writings of Luke. He was a physician, but he also was a historian. I thank God for his writings because in the book of Acts, he tells us about uh, the early days of the church there in the city of Antioch where Barnabas, uh, the the great uh, a comforter who uh, they called him the, the son of consolation because he has such a gentle spirit about himself. And he loved people. And the church had been persecuted out of Jerusalem and uh, had spread up into the outer regions in this area of Antioch and was doing well. And so the apostles sent Barnabas there to investigate. And uh, his report was very good. And he talks about how that the church was growing and prospering and, uh, and the faith was great. And uh, the people who were outside of the church, they saw what was going on and they, they made the comment, that those people there, they, they are imitators of Christ. They just uh, think that they're just a bunch of little Christ. <laughs> and uh, so they began to call them Christians. And I today, Pastor Jack King, here coming across these radio airwaves, I boldly and proudly proclaim that I too am a Christian. I'm proud of that. But I find that in our modern day that there are many who don't fully understand what a Christian is. And uh, I find that a lot of times, even among our young people, in the church, there's not a clear understanding of the Christian church and a Christian movement. Now, you say, well, there are others who believe in God. Many people believe in a higher power of some type of deity. And there are others who believe in the same God that we believe in, Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I do believe in the great Jehovah God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I have a, a great uh, identification with those who also believe. But if you study the scriptures, you'll find that uh, in the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, there were those prophets who prophesied. And they prophesied of the coming of Messiah. And you'll find it all through the uh, Old Testament, the prophecies of the coming of Messiah, that he is to come. So you say, well, Pastor King, what is it that connects the Old Testament with the New Testament? Are Christian people, of those, uh, with those who are not Christians, but yet believers in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I'd say it's the prophecies, the prophecies, the prophets who prophesied of the coming of Christ or the coming of Messiah. The thing that causes us to be different or be separate is that as Christians, we are followers of Christ because we believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the Son of God who became flesh and dwelt among us and lived the sinless life and died on the cross for the sins of all humanity. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.